<laughs> oh gosh, I downloaded the game and instantly just first first couple of so games. Many, so many people do that. They're still in the game. Like one of my favorite streamers I watch, Chip Big Fitness mm. guy. You know, he plays World of Warcraft and he didn't he downloaded League of Legends and got banned in like the three games. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like and sometimes it, it doesn't make yeah. sense. I had someone who went like to see my support. Um and I was playing yeah. jungler and he was nice. auto field and somebody was like, Oh, we'll swap. So that person picked like Leona. Um so I ended up with a Leona top because the Timo was like, Oh no, I don't worry, I'll go support. But that person had already locked in Leona. So I had a Leona yeah, top, who was supposed play. to be a support. We had a Timo bot, yeah. which can play top, but for some reason they didn't want to swap. Then they decided to swap when the um, Nasus was already fully fed. So the Nasus was just like, I don't know, it was just a disgusting game. I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah. Anyway, how's your week been while I quickly announced this? Yeah, it's been right. Been very busy, but in a good way. That's good. Solid. Being solid, a lot of stuff with the mental health group. We always have meetings really late at night because we're all US based. So meetings are like, well, let me at midnight. It's like, okay, Ace, that's great. So cool, cool. Do you mind One, me asking four, about that? What, what, what is it? I know you've mentioned it in the past. I probably should have had. Yeah, sure, man. Yeah. Question. So it's men's mental health in gaming association slash going to charity status very shortly. Oh, that's good. So we're a really progressive community. We've got booths at like um, DreamHack, stuff like that, Loot Fest. And we're really invested in men's health and basically making sure everyone, no one feels alone. Everyone's got someone to talk to and just really trying to raise the awareness of how important mental health is for men in particular. Women are welcome in the community as well. We've got our own women's part of it as well. But it's just making sure everyone knows there's someone to talk to. They're not on their own. It's Holy not abnormal shit. to have. This is good. This bad. is good. I can, I can partner yeah. with you guys if you want. I don't. I don't know if you guys. Oh yeah, one percent. Yeah, I'll talk to you. I'll talk to the top guy if you like. Wait, is it on Discord? Sort out, um, what platform? Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, Discord, good. Twitter. Yeah, man. Yeah, because sure. I think um, a bunch of people, especially on Discord, need positive reinforcement. Yeah, sure. Um, and it's nice that you guys have got this uh, mental health, uh, you know, factor going on, especially for young men who are being strayed down different paths on social media. Sure. Now I'm going to get this party started. So, welcome, yes. guys, as you're coming through. Welcome to our weekly podcast. My name is Ao, and here's your personal trainer, Chris. Chris has over a decade worth, decade year work worth of experience. You know, I've done this multiple times. I just butchered it. Um, and he's here to answer all of your questions. Chris, feel free to introduce yourself as I start this. Hi, guys. How are you doing? I'm Chris. Personal trainer, coach. I run STR first, which stands for Strength First. Big advocate for strength training. What's the training, motto for that, Chris? Do you remember? Sorry to cut you off. What's the motto for that? No strike force. I know my motto. No what? No strike force. I'm not. I'm not no engaging with first. you. I'm not engaging with you. It's Saturday. It's been a it's nice day. You give first. me this. The very start. Okay. You give me this. We're right. not cobra Go ahead, no, we're strength Sorry. first. <laughs> So we're training people to get focused on their strength, with their health, their well-being, their fitness, and we're trying to do it in a positive environment. And I'm also a gamers at the moment. I'm working with a current few streamers now. We're going to be getting a few more going on, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, I'm here to answer any of your questions. I've been coaching over 10 years, been training myself almost 15 years. I've made all the mistakes you're going to, you're going to make. So any questions, hit me up. I am ready to answer any questions. And you get five points if you guess what's in my drink. I don't want to blurred, obviously, so I'm not suspicious. What am I drinking? Yeah, Five it's points. yellow and censored, so that's the two clues that you need. Um, so, oh, guys, God, if you have any questions, start. feel free to raise your hand to come up to the panel. Otherwise, ask in the text chat. Um, or we can just do text questions today. Oh, yeah, huge shout-out to Rex. Rex, do you have your mic? Um, it's Rex's birthday. Rex, how old are you today? Sorry, I feel so old. Do you not talk? No, Mike's broke. Oh, 18. Oh. oh, my God. Oh, nice, nice. Congrats, dude. Welcome to Adult Food. Have a good day. Cool. Does anybody 18, have any oh. questions to ask? Feel free to raise your hands. I've actually, come up got, to the panel. I've actually got a question, but it's a text based one. So we're still being prejudiced against text questions. Um, We've got a voice one. Hello, YOLO. But we'll answer hello, hello. text. Don't worry, dude. Okay. How are you doing, dude? Feel free to ask your question. Okay, so my question is. Uh... If I'm eating like shit, 
I mean, I eat cake, I eat like everything, candies. But my goal is to get bigger, but not get a lot of fat. I mean, I'm kind of succeeding in it. It's been like two months and I see like really good results. I, I got bigger, I got some muscle. Not so much fat, but like I'm scared if I get fat in future. So what do, what do you have to like? Sure, tell That's good. it's a good question. It makes sense. So I'll try to summarize if it makes sense. If I get it wrong, let me know. So you're eating more high calorie stuff. You're eating some sweet treats, you're eating quite a lot and you're worried if it's going to make you fat or should you stop doing it basically? Is that the question? Yeah. Because it'll be a problem. Okay, so in terms of weight gain, it doesn't strictly matter what you eat. You can go down the if it fits your macros philosophy, which means as long as you hit your calories and your macros, fill it however you like, it doesn't matter. So if you want to eat sweets and treats and cakes like that, it's absolutely fine. I will give the disclaimer that to make sure you have a balanced diet, so you have fruits and vegetables as well, but it's always better to have a diet you can stick with that's not too restrictive. The best diet you can have is one that you're going to stick with. So having sweet treats is fine. I eat cookies most days. It's not kill me. I've still managed to get very strong, very fit, very healthy. So I wouldn't worry about too much. I wouldn't try to make it the cornerstone of your diet. If you're having extra few cakes, extra stuff when you're trying to bulk as well, gain a bit of weight for the first time, that's not a problem at all. Enjoy them, but make sure you balance that with fruit and veg outside of that as well. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Okay, so I mean, I, I eat a lot of protein. I probably hit like almost every day the, the protein goal and shit, but... Yeah, perfect. Like, I'm only worried... Protein. Yeah, so it's not a problem, right? No, not at all. I would okay, focus I on that. protein, calories first, then protein, and then anything else really comes secondary after that. Okay, thanks, bro. You're welcome, man. Thank you very much, Yolo, for asking a question. Oh, yeah, you were here last week, weren't you? And I made yeah, fun of yeah. your name. I was like, who has your <laughs> yeah, yeah. 20... Oh, gosh, I remember you. Solid one. Thanks for joining today. How have you been, though? How's your week been? Been all right? Uh, it's been pretty good. Solid, solid, solid. Cool, cool, cool. I'll move you back to the panel. Feel free to listen all the way through. You might learn something insightful. Um, Play it in the background as your, you know, hard stock on League of Legends or cleaning yeah, your yeah. room or doing your homework. Um, Yeah, cool. Next person is... Stop projecting, man. Stop projecting. I do not know how to pronounce this name, but I know that you have in brackets Danish Hercules. So, I mean... Yeah, hello. Not, not to glaze you. Hello, Danish Hercules. How are you doing? Yeah, hello. Um, So... Recently, I have not been hitting PR, so I had one on Friday, but for not that, which is three months since I last hit my last PR, and before, like originally, I'd hit one maybe every two weeks or then a month, but now it's getting to where I'm really getting to the next uh, PR thing, and is there any advice that you know to where I can get to, say, PRs quicker? Yeah, sure. Good question. It's always hard when it's it's always more difficult when the PRs don't come too easily all the time. Um, I take it you're a relatively new lifter. You a few months in? Uh, no, I've been lifting for three years. Three years. Okay. Well, you're still being in PRs consistently for three years. That's very impressive. Okay. So sometimes your body just gets stuck for a bit. So I would go through the basics as we always do. How does your diet look? How does your training look? How does your sleep and recovery look? Are they all in check at the moment? Um, no, uh, no. There we go, we'll start there. <laughs> which, one, which one's lacking, God? Um, so, probably my sleep. Yeah, that's usually the one people say first. Okay, so that will make a difference for your recovery and your ability to hit PRs for energy levels and I just for general recovery. Is, so, yeah, it is also, I think, to do with my mindset as well. Okay, what's your mindset? Because, like, for so long, I had the goal of 300 pounds, right? And once I got it, I kind of, like, stopped the intensity so much like mm -hmm. i was like oh i've got to my goal and i was like well the next big one is say four or five but that is so far away i just kind of like my brain was yeah. like i felt less motivated to get better and continue with uh, my training so i was like found myself uh, slacking off or mm -hmm. not putting as much effort into my set so instead of going to failure i'll be like i could probably get one more rep but it's you know yeah it's burning a bit, so I might stop. I get what you mean. Man. Um, and honestly, hitting a big goal is important, but like you said, it can be difficult because big goals can get in your head and think, oh my God, I've got so much more to do. So for you personally, I recommend you having a, a brief deload. Take a little time off. Maybe go to the gym once or twice a week, or not at all if you prefer. 
just get a pump and don't stress about it. I think you obviously are a very driven guy, but you probably burn yourself out with this. And if it's, you've been training hard for three years consistently, which sounds like you have, you're going to need a break at some point. So what I'd recommend for you to do is have a week or maybe even two weeks of not training or really light training, just doing a bit of cardio, just getting a light pump, getting out of the gym, and hopefully that will be able to reignite your passion again. The other way I would approach it if I were you is trying to shift the goals up a bit. So it sounds like you've had a very weight-oriented goal and like maybe like a powerlifting sense. Maybe look at something instead, say a new skill or doing a certain weight for reps instead. Say rather than I want to improve my one rep max, I want to improve my 10 rep max. That will help you get a different mindset. If you're going from say training high, low reps to high reps, you've got more to build. It's easier to add a couple reps to a 10 rep max. So you have to build weight to a 10 rep max and a one rep max, obviously. Hopefully you'll build a bit of muscle in the process. You'll get away from the low reps for a while, get your body chance to recover. And then when you do go to the low reps again, to hit a high weight, you'll have a bit more muscle behind you, a bit more drive and conditioning as well. How does that sound? Does it make any sense to you? Yeah, it sounds good. I mean, the the biggest problem I face at the moment, I think, is that uh, I'm starting to find that, say, lower weights are feeling, like, harder for me. So, yeah. say, if I'm doing, yeah, so say if I'm doing, like, 100 kg, before I'd be, you know, motivated to get another rep, but now it's like, I'm just like, you know, just do it and then stop when I feel yeah. like I've... So it, it is like the motivation, because before I used the gym as a release of stress, Mm-hmm. But now I come out of the gym and more stressed. Yeah, absolutely. And, I, and I've been there. I've, I've been there. When you work really hard to hit a goal and it's really important to you, it could take a lot out of you. And you need to toe that line really of working hard to de-stress and not let it become too much of an actual stress. Because when you care about it, it can be quite taxing and it can be frustrating. So I really recommend you having a deload for a bit. I'd also maybe look at your calories, maybe bump the calories up a little bit, maybe build more muscle. That could help you out as well. Um, I suppose your picture, you've got very good shoulders, good grief. Um, so yeah, maybe just change for a bit, change the rep range for a bit. Just do something different to what you're doing while still keep you in the gym and try to make it fun again. That's not the main thing, is when you get really stuck on a number, what I like to do is take a step back, understand that you're not the champion powerlifter of the entire world, and you're allowed to have fun in the gym, and just find it fun again. That's what I recommend. Yeah, because I, I get bored. Well, yeah, it, sure. It's like, I, I, it is like, I feel like I'm not doing it because I want to, but it is like an expectation or need to, yeah. to do it so I don't lose all my progress. Yeah, exactly. Um, I will say, you've been training hard for a long time. If you take even a couple of months off from training, you're not going to lose any muscle. Any muscle you think you lose is going to come back within or come out like that. So just find something fun for a change. Even if you take a weight, weight, weight for the weights for a bit, maybe try some calisthenics. You're like you're in pretty good shape, so you can probably do some good chin-ups, pull-ups, maybe some L-sits. Just do something that makes exercise fun again, because ultimately, if it's not fun, you're not enjoying it, it becomes... Like you said, more of an obligation and more of a slog, and that's not very fun. So try to find something yeah. fun that you enjoy, even something simple like switching from barbell exercises to using machines. Something different just to move the muscles a different way, get a nice pump, and then just walk out and not stress about it if you can. I know it's difficult. I've been, I've been there. Also, can I ask you a question? It's not like much personal, but it is more of like an advice kind of thing. Of course. Of course. So I've been going to this the same gym consistently for like two years now. Um, and the owner of the gym has seen me in the gym a lot. And he is, he sometimes comes to me and he wants, he like, tries to pressure me into going to PEDs. Right. And I don't want to, but mm-hmm. like, he, it is like his macho in the thing. So he like tries to talk me into it and says, you know, I can do this for you for free. And, We'll start out free, then, you know, if you like it, you can pay, and it's easy and everything, so, but I like the gym, but I find, but I don't like how he does that. How do you think I should deal with it? That sounds really tough, and thank you for sharing that, because that's quite a lot of pressure, especially from the guy who runs the gym, and it's very easy to fall into that very quickly. Um, I would do is maybe just check the hours he works there if you can, maybe try to work around him. Headphones are always a good idea. Focus on working on your sets. Just try to keep your head down, basically. Just You don't have to talk to him all the time. I know it feels like a pressure and obligation, but if you're just trying to get on with that and talk to you to get on with your workout, that's absolutely fine. Like It's not being rude to... You don't need to be rude to him directly, but if you're focused, put up maybe headphones on, he won't approach you as much. He'll get the message. Yeah, because we, we used to be like uh, friends in that, kind of. Like, you know, th- that kind of like gym owner, gym kind of relationship with, you know, and all that. And I- I'm only 16, so it is like... 
a lot of my friends who go to the same gym, they've been pressured by him to go into PEDs. And it's like, I don't like the environment, but I like the gym. Yeah, it's difficult. Um, honestly, I'd be looking for a different gym, especially if he's talking to people at that age to try to encourage them for that kind of stuff. I would be looking for a different gym, honestly. Or maybe talk to a member of the staff just to... Because he shouldn't be doing that. It's deeply inappropriate. He shouldn't be doing that at all. I'm sorry that's going on. Yeah. Uh, thank you for uh, answering my uh, questions. No problem. I hope you have a good day. Perfect. Thank you very much, Danish Hercules. I uh, hope you have a great day as well. Feel free to stay to the end of the podcast to listen through. Maybe you might learn yeah, something new. Um, and yeah, um, thanks for joining. I'll add you back to the panel. Cool. Text questions. I think Rex had the only text question. Some guy raised his hand and then he just left in like two seconds. Cause I'm I was going to answer Rex's questions. And I just get oil up and I'm not sure if I'm going to answer anymore. I know that's supposed to be a joke. You were talking about people being appropriate. That was an inappropriate joke. So I'm not going to laugh to it. I'm not going to entertain it. I'm not even going to give you credit for making it. So yeah, go ahead and answer Rex's question. So what have we got? Hey, Chris. So I started my cut this week and I lost 1.5 kilos. A lot of weight, probably a lot of water. But it seems like my arms and shoulders are size reduced. Is it normal? Um, yeah, it's probably in your head. You probably dropped a lot of water this week. And you haven't lost any muscle in that time at all. It's not possible to lose muscle that quickly, so don't worry about that. You probably just lost some water weight and some retention of carbs and salt and things. So it's normal to feel like you're smaller when you start a cut, but you won't have actually lost any muscle, so nothing to worry about. Though do check your continued weight loss over the next few weeks. You shouldn't be losing 1.5 kilos each week unless you have a significant amount of weight to lose. But yeah, it's totally normal to feel like you've lost a lot of weight on your shoulders and arms quickly. No worries, man, got you. Got YOLO again for a text question for Allowed. Is gaining 11 kg in two months too fast? Um, that's a lot of weight. Um, that's over a kilo a week, so over two, two, I guess two to two and a half pounds a week. That's a lot. If you're significantly underweight, that could be healthy for you if you need to, if you're seriously malnourished, but I wouldn't think that's a say underweight. Yeah, so if you're starting off and you're a very, very beginner, yeah, that's possible to happen. I just wouldn't make a habit of doing it every, every month or two. So yeah, to start off, that's fine, just to get you a normal body weight, but that's not something you want to be doing consistently all the time. Plus, you have a lot of time to strip it off later on, later in your life. But yeah, to start with, that's absolutely fine. I, was, I gained a lot of weight to start with as well. Perfect. No Does anybody else have any questions, guys? Feel free to ask a question. You have a qualified personal trainer with over a decade worth of experience. Very insightful, very nice, very helpful. Don't feel feel free to ask any questions that you want to ask. Don't be shy. Um, you can use a text chat or you can come up to the panel and be part of the podcast. Also, feel free to help support Chris. Thank you very much for your time, Chris. Really do appreciate it. And make sure to follow the podcast and the was it on the YouTube or. Oh. I copied a lot the wrong thing. YouTube. Yeah, I need to make bot commands for this. We'll do. On the YouTube and the Twitch, we are close to 250 followers. So feel free to stay tuned and use it as an opportunity to watch the VOD. Cool. Does anybody else have any questions? Yeah, I'm not going to ask you if you saw the fight, Daddy Hall fight recently. Eddie, yeah, yeah, I saw that fight. Eddie Hall versus the two <laughs> twins or whatever. 2v1 MMA. <laughs> Yeah, bro. They should have had a better tactic. Like, they should have split up. They came in, like, a straight line. So it was like, you punched one, you knocked one out, and you picked another one, and you freaking slammed him. Um, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, we're talking about the Eddie Hall versus um, two two brothers or two twins in the MMA um, bout or whatever, whatever it is. I didn't even know if it was, like, sanctioned. I think it was one of those fun... Because I've seen one before, like... One guy versus two women type thing. It's like, it's ridiculous. But they're always funny to watch because they create really good, really good memes. But yeah, what's your take on it, Chris? I just don't know what they expected, to be honest. Have you seen the size of the man? And they're just, it was just like sorting two flies. You see him like, literally just pick him yeah. up like he was a ragdoll. And just, <laughs> yeah. what can you expect? You can't go in and just. Yeah, I wonder if like any of them like got seriously injured. Because all I saw was I the think clips. they gone. went out cold. They went yeah. out cold. Yeah. It was never going to work. I just. Yeah. I appreciate he's not a skilled fighter, but just that 
I might draw power against two little guys. It's never going to happen. Yeah, and the problem with happen. like fighting someone like Eddie, um, especially be like his personality. I think he takes things like way too seriously. I think that fight, yeah. it especially from from like the I only saw like the face off. The face off they had like a midget, um, and they also had um a bunch of like clown stuff going on. So it seemed like it was meant to be one of those fun bouts where, you know, you're yeah, supposed to like dance in the middle or Ex- exhibition fight, yeah. Yeah, those type of things. You just went in and just pull out. Yeah, you see when Floyd does it. Have you seen the one where Floyd where he fights the um I don't know, the mixed yeah. martial arts guy, I forgot where it was. And he's like dancing, he's shaking his head, he's moving around and he's you know he's showboats in the middle. But he didn't do that. Yeah, Eddie Hall just went and seems like, I'm going to knock this guy out. I'm going to slam his brother. I'm going to break his neck. It's like, dude, calm down. Um, oh, yeah. So, guys, if you do have questions, do feel free to ask. Um, if you're enjoying the conversations, great. Um, we've still got some time. I'll tell you about so. my workout today. Yeah, go ahead, fun. Chris. Talk about so I had to workout. rush it in. It was busy. But, so I did deadlifts today, and everyone's going to roast me because everyone loves powerlifting in here. But I did sumo deadlifts with a belt and my straps. I did touch and go. And see my little soapbox to advocate for touch and go deadlifts for all the just to piss off all the powerlifters in here. Okay. I think touch and go deadlifts are better than dead stop deadlifts for ninety nine percent of people. Okay, and why would you say that? I'll play devil's advocate. Because I, I truly believe this is true. Because you get much more time under tension, and you can get more reps done with the same weight. So, right. for example, I did two hundred and thirty kilos today for my top set. I did a set of five, and I almost died during it. Mm-hmm. But I know I could not have done two hundred and thirty kilos for five reps for dead stop. So I think it's much better to do touch and go. I get more time under tension. If you take the pause at the top instead, you're always holding the weight. And you get more, I get more chance to practice my lockout, for example, for powerlifting. My lockout, mm-hmm. the more practice for that, because I'm not having quite worried about breaking off the floor. Mm-hmm. I get more time under tension. I can do better conditioning. I can build more muscle and get stronger by doing touch and go than by doing um, dead stop singles or just sets of dead stops. Okay. That is my sincere belief. Yeah, I wish I was the best person to have this debate with. Um, yeah, oh, but oh, I wonder how. I'll take it for it. Push ups. I don't know what you do. Push ups. You do that, right? What for? What are we comparing? But yeah, I wish I was the best person to have this conversation. Maybe someone like Doco. Like the problem with these type of things is like I know the fundamentals, but when people are like one thing's better than the other, I don't want to get into the debate um, category because no, everything. It's fine. No, you can say debate. It's fine. Because yeah. I tell you about my. My weekly pet peeve exercise in my gym. Mm. My current pet peeve exercise is was always the face pulls with the hip action. Always, mm-hmm. always those. My second pet peeve one is well, the worst one I've seen so far. It's, it's always the young people, like the young people, people who are like the young teenagers doing it. Like one person sees it, and like it's like catching a cold or something. It spreads around, oh, and the they were doing. Pulls. No, no, new one, new one is the um. It's the reverse pec deck, the shoulder fly like that, go backwards. Oh, okay. They're doing it in one okay. arm. They're doing it one arm, like super heavy for like a triple. And it's like, are you trying to break your shoulder? What's going on? Oh, yeah, that's yeah, I see current, what you mean. That's my current pet peeve one. I see that a lot for some reason as I'm doing my treadmill and just judging people doing my cardio. Yeah, and they use, they normally would like use the chest fly machines, but alternate it and then sit on it. Yeah, 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 yeah I do see yeah. it a lot. Yeah, yeah. Most of my back exercises either consist of like compound movements or body weight okay. movements. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't. Sometimes I don't really like. I don't even like have any pet peeves in the gym. I think the only thing that I really, 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 really hate, um, like out of like anything else that I do, Go on. I'm ready. Um, I mean, yeah. Um. I'll probably say lunges and like Bulgarian um, split squats. Anything where I have oh. to like bend my knees. Not that I have anything against it, but it's just like trying to do. So first, you'd have to take off your shoe, which is already an hassle. We do it in your socks. You have to get the correct position. Your feet hurts, and then you have to make sure that the weight you're doing is all right. If you have a really light weight, just to warm up, your ego takes. You know, it takes control. So you want to lift something heavier, you lose balance. You don't want to lose balance. A bunch of people walk in, 
And there's some guy in the corner who's like benching like, you know, two times his body weight and then you're like, oh, maybe I should have just done this at home. Like you need to you need to do this in the gym. But yeah, that's 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 my only pet peeve. But everything else I think it's cool. I used to really hate cardio for some reason, but then the more I started doing long distance running and cycling a lot, it became so easy. I started to understand how to do like maintain yeah, my sure, energy sure. and like breath control and stuff like that. And it was like oh, wow, this is actually way easier than you have to control your breath and go at your own pace and then you can slow down just to recover. It is a game changer. Yeah, yeah. And you start realizing how you can manage your breath um, and your oxygen levels for like a longer period of time than rushing into it and just going out of breath. But yeah, yeah, that's my that's my only pet peeve. Um, cool. Does anybody have any questions? This is a really great opportunity for you guys to ask questions. I see Rex asked me, Stuffer or Toji? Was this some weeb stuff? I'm not a weeb. I don't watch anime. It's over my head. It's over my head, I'm afraid. I can do the hate legs, though. We can do that one if you like. Rex says, I hate doing legs. How can I motivate myself? Toji is an influencer. Um, with the name Stuffer. The only Toji I know is from JJK. I'm just trying to Google that. So you vowed yourself there? No, no, no. That's because someone sent it to me. And I oh, now okay, I was scrolling yeah. I was scrolling on X, you know how toxic yeah. it is. And there was a oh, yeah, there was a there was a PC spec thread. So I clicked on it by accident and it ended up being like some weeb stuff. Um that's that's the only reason I know. Always the gamble. Always yeah. the gamble. Yeah. Come on guys, nice ask questions. Change. Otherwise, I'll just start gloating. In this week, we managed to get 22k members. Um, the Instagram's That's about dope. to get 20k followers. Reddit just surpassed 500 followers. So also follow us on the Reddit as well. I'm just going to post this command. I'm just going to start logging as much as possible. Um, if you guys sure. aren't asking any questions, but guys, do feel free to ask questions. Don't don't be sad. Don't be shy. Don't be. We've got was it 20 more Maybe minutes toy. of this? And I don't want to cut it short. No, no bad questions. We can talk about Rex saying how to motivate. He hates training legs. How to how to motivate himself to train legs? Okay, yeah. Do you want to start off? I can probably give some insight. Yeah, sure. Um, biggest motivator is realize that summer is coming up and long shorts are not in style anymore. So you have to hire <laughs> the five engine team. You got to make worry about that. Um. You can hate doing it, that's fine. But you realize it's an important part of balancing out your physique. Mm. Um, what part do you hate in particular? Because there are ways to work around it. And as I always say, there are no essential exercises, but there are better ways to achieve things. Um, for example, if you feel like you have to barbell squat, you don't have to barbell squat. No one needs to do the, no one needs to do the barbell squat unless they compete in it. So if that's the issue, I've semi-retired from barbell squats, I like to say. I've done, I've done my time squatting. I've done my time. Um, so if you hate squatting entirely, there are ways around it. My legs have got much better since I stopped doing squats as my primary leg movement. So you can do things like leg extensions, your leg press. You can do a hack squat, for example, which I think is probably the most horrible exercise machine in the gym. I absolutely hate the hack squat, but it's fantastic for your quads. Um, you can do Bob Goyer and split squats if you want to, if you hate yourself and you want to use light little weights, or you can just do proper ones with a barbell in the rack instead. You can do front squats instead. Front squats are better. I like them. You could just call it the safety bar instead. But just hating squats alone, there are ways to get around it. You don't have mm. to do squats precisely. You don't have to do them. Most people will judge you, but I won't judge you. So that's that's one thing at least. Yeah. And then just spam spam those leg, leg extensions as well. Can... Leg extensions, if you do them properly, what well, I've actually started I have a lot I actually have a lot of love for the leg extension machine now but you yeah, have to do it right too. you have to do it in my special setup you have to do the... <laughs> what's your special setup right so it's single leg leg extensions first of oh, all okay. mm -hmm. and it's setting the back support way up way far back so you're almost lying backwards. oh yeah I tend to do that just to, yeah. yeah that's the the hack to get more erector for Morris the top five you've got involved so single leg extensions do hard sets so you between five to ten reps, don't do anything that hurts your knee, obviously. But you can mm. do up to ten reps. Don't be don't be afraid to do sets of seven or eight. Do your weakest leg first. Interesting fact: I found out I 
have a weaker leg from this exercise. I didn't realize I did. But I had oh, a weaker actually, leg I've got a really good question. Sorry to cut you off concerning the leg um, yep, extension. I've yeah. tried. The reason why I don't do single legs is because of how the machine mm-hmm. set up. I used to mm-hmm. think that maybe I might have a weaker leg, but I've noticed mm-hmm. that it's a balance thing. So because right. the one that we have, the the hinge, it's towards the right hand side. So whenever I do a single leg with my right leg, the balance feels normal, especially because people right. use it a lot. So their their legs have been indented into the you know the yeah. soft. Established. Yeah. yeah. So I, if I want to put it in the middle, it just doesn't feel right. But for the right leg, it feels normal. Then when I try to do it for the left, the my left leg, because of the positioning, the balance, the like how things are, the imprints of people's legs, like just even getting to do that feels weird. But if I was to do something similar, um, with like it's not the exact same thing. Um, I don't know the name. But if I'm using like the you know cable machines to try and imitate the same thing, my left yeah, leg is yeah, stronger yeah. than my right leg. Um, so I don't know. I I think it is. It, would you would you agree that it's more of like a balance thing rather than like a strength thing? Because my left leg has always been, especially from running track, um, and it being right. my starting leg, so my takeoff leg, it's always mm-hmm. ca- used to carrying a lot of my weight. So um, yeah, my left leg has always been stronger than my right. Yeah, what's your thoughts on that? Would you say it's more of a balance thing? Um, it could be a balance and stability thing, by the sounds of it. Like, if you if you know for sure you haven't got weakness in that leg, I'd mm. look for other factors for it. And sometimes, some of the leg extension machines are really janky anyway. Like, my one up, there's two in my gym. The one upstairs is terrible, but the one downstairs is actually very good. Mm. If you go different ones to try, you may be able to figure it out that way. Um, but generally, if you, I try to put my, my single leg I'm using towards the center of the um, support anyway, the leg, the reg bit. So I always aim for the center just for the, try to minimize that stability slash balance issue. So if you can try that, that'd be great. Okay. Um, if you can, because sometimes it's the thing in the middle gets in the way and you can't put it directly in the center. But if you can put yeah. it directly in the center of the pad, that's the best way to eliminate that. Yeah. I was considering like using like a towel or something just to like tighten it, yeah. but I uh, couldn't be asked or something. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, the only reason why I do it all the way back is I just put my headphones in and I just spam it. And it's one of the best ones to do because it's, I don't know how to explain it. Like most leg exercises, you have to like unrack and re-rack and then your back's killing you, yeah, your feet's like, killing you. It's like, but this, you just sit down and have a blast. But yeah, yeah. Um, gym I don't moments. have a blast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, cool, cool, cool. I see Viking. Like do for it. Sorry, what did you say? No, I was going to go more detail for my like to do um, isometrics on the leg extension as well to warm up, warm mm. the knees. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. It's um, really good. You relock it in and then you can do sets after that. Like, well, it makes me think I'm getting more quad activation out of it. And then I go and do like a, a lengthened quad exercise, like a hack squat or a yeah, doing a hack squat afterwards, which is absolutely horrible, but phenomenal for quad growth. You can do it afterwards. And also because your quads are already fatigued, you get to have the excuse of, oh, I can't use as much weight because I've already got fatigued quads. There's a bit of an excuse there. Okay. But aren't you just cheating yourself? Or why you prefer it so that makes sense and you find it more optimal? Well, I'm, I'm trying not too much on my knees. So I'm trying to, I think it's better just for the actual muscle work. If I was wanted to, my quads in particular, if I want to work full leg mass, I might consider doing house squat first. But for myself, I'm trying to work on my, what's the word for it? The outer part of the quad, the vastus lateralis. I've got a crazy teardrop from squatting for over a decade, but my lateralis is quite weak. So that's why I'm trying to prioritize the leg extensions first. Okay. Okay. Also, so I've got another question. For it. This is probably not even like mm-hmm. a, not the best place. What's that clicking noise whenever, and I'm not too sure if you have it, like when you walk, there's always like a clicking noise. Do you have it? Because I've I'm noticed sure quite a lot of people feature. have it. No, no, no. It's not, it's not like an issue. There's like a clicking noise that you get. And it's not like anything's my... wrong. But, yeah, I need to. I'm not sure. You have to ask a I'll, I'll send okay. you, I'll send you about it. A lot of people yeah. have it, and then it's like... Okay, oh, it's send it to me, I'll look into it. But yeah, I'll look into it. Um, cool, cool, cool. Oh yeah, Viking, I see you're doing your race, it was it 68 days? Any insights on that? Hello, oh, there's so many yeah, people that I know that have a microphone who's just being unnecessarily shy. But it's like... It's Imagine. cool, guys. Imagine. It's just it's just a podcast, right? 
We'll, we'll right. retext him. No worries, Rex. I know. Yeah, we need to try in the um, text page again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone ask a text question, guys. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in. Let me grab my headset and join. No, nah, it's all right. You don't need to join. No oh, other clip. I know maybe last week. I'm not sure. Hey, have you seen um, Bradley Martin slap that guy in the gym? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. I have two takes on it, right? Yeah, me too. Me too. Go on. My first take is like, okay, it's well deserved. <laughs> My second action. take is <laughs> that is clearly like a a mini like roid rage type overreaction thing because yeah, yeah. they were all like all of them were funny and around because it's it's part of the kick um, um streak. oh yeah come on and he was meant to be bench press not no he was meant to be spotting him while the guy was doing his bench press so the guy was playing around i think bradley martin over um um overreacted because he's got some weird kind of like weird issues with like his bald spots on his air he's definitely and he had not shaved yeah he, he had a kind of like a mixed bag of a week where either his stocks skyrocketed or people were proud of him and people but he, he had a fairly decent week because he also boxed or street fought with um um logan paul in in his gym he had a street oh, right fight. Oh, you didn't see it? Yeah, it was in the same week. Oh, Both him and Logan Paul had a... Uh, it was they, they they did it respectfully, right? So Logan Paul showed right, okay. up. They, they no, not Eddie Hall version. No Eddie Hall. <laughs> nah, not Eddie Hall. Um, they signed a waiver. Um, you know, just to make sure no one was recording. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um, Elite Mike Malak yeah. was like streaming just before it started. Um, and they just because both of them had had like beefs with each other, and I think. I'm not going to lie. I think sometimes, like, mutual combat where nobody, like, gets seriously injured is a be- is one of the best ways to, like, squash beefs, especially with yeah. guys. You don't want to sound a bit sexist. Yeah, it's good. I'll go, go over with you. Yeah, because I on. remember everyone I hated in school. At some point, we fought, and then we're like, we don't really hate each other. In fact, we have so much in common. We see each other almost yeah, yeah. every day. It's like, yeah. And I think, like, yeah, you just burn off all that stress and testosterone. And then you know whether you know that person can beat you up or whether you can beat them up. And if you beat them up, you got. You know where that. you stand, don't you? What? You know where you stand. Yeah, you know where you stand. And if you get the dove, it's a, it's a, you, you can little bro them a bit. It's like it's all you right. You catch the hands. You catch the hands. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> cool. Um, someone's got a question. I've just been told not to cut with someone on the server because I'm not 18 plus. I'm planning to cut with summer. Um. You look fairly lean already. Why do you want to cut? Yeah, um, we don't recommend hard cut or serious cut people who are under eighteen, just because you're still growing. Don't want to mess up any of your hormones for that. Um, if you can do a very slow, controlled one, it looks like you're quite experienced already in the gym. If you can do it very controlled and lose not more than half a pound a week, maybe yeah, up to that, that could be okay for you, but. Make sure the juice is worth the squeeze. Don't try to cut too super, super lean because no one really cares that much anyway and you're already looking in good shape anyway, man, honestly. Um, down to not kind of 4%. Not to 4%. I'm looking to 9 to 11%. Um, that's a reasonable place to go down to, but I wouldn't get too fixed on numbers. Um, you can lean down a little bit, but I would keep the healthy food in, keep the vegetables and fruits in, keep the protein high. Um, basically, if you clear up by getting rid of any major junk, that'd be absolutely fine. That'd be good for your health. Mm. Maybe do a little bit of zone two cardio just to get some moving around, be healthy, be more active, more vascular. One thing is, every time I hear that, I just think the the family guy, he's seen it when Stewie takes yeah, steroids. Stewie, like, yeah, Stewie, yeah, yeah. One thing the women like is a vascular man. One thing the women love the vascular, yeah, yeah, vascular. And then the next <laughs> day, it's just flabby and it turns into like a bird. If you look more vascular, man, just get a pump on before you go outside. That's all you need to do and get tan. Yeah. <laughs> and one, thing, go more vascular. one thing I'll add to those, like, percentage things like no one actually truly knows unless you know what's the name of the correct machine that gets you the accurate numbers like all of it is always an estimate um and yeah and also yeah six-pack genetics it's always genes so like it's a you know you don't don't focus too much on it i've I've noticed like people will be like oh yeah i want to get a bit leaner just have more visible like six-pack or whatever especially among like teens 
Um, yeah, sometimes yeah, you've got what you've got. Me. Yeah, you've got what you've got, and that's that's something you just have to accept. There's some people who have like better fat um, displacements across their body. Some people who can be at like a, they don't need to get into ridic- ridiculous amounts of like um, lower body fat percentage to have visible sure. abs. And there's some people Absolutely. that even when they're really lean, um, I think a good example would be if you've ever looked at like The Rock um, and looked at pictures yeah, of him. Sure. He's yeah, sure. he's one of those guys who are like, oh, you know, he's clearly on something. He's also clearly been lean, but there's like a one pack there, um, yeah. you know, totally. and that's that's someone who's trained at like a very high level. The major yeah, thing, the major, major thing is to find a body weight that you're healthy in and you feel confidence in. And also if you're someone who likes sports, especially if you're young, you know, you're, was it 17 going on to 18? So you potentially might want to do sports, especially for school, university, even for fun. Um, is longevity right you don't want to get you don't want to start like destroying your potential just to have visible abs for a picture that would just be meaningless like a decade from now um but that's just my in my two sides my two cents into that uh and my insights into it mix two words together two phrases together um but yeah chris did you have anything else um yeah i'll just say be careful of it and keep your eyes on the prize like I was, when I started training, I was just turning 16, my goal was to get super, super shredded, super lean. And I did it, but I, when we're looking back at it, I just think, oh my God, I was so skinny and tiny. Um, and looking back, my diet was so restrictive and crazy. It wasn't, it wasn't healthy and it wasn't good for me. Um, so just be aware of that. You're already in great shape anyway. Being an extra percent or two low in body fat is not going to turn someone's head rot instead of being, having a good personality and being a good guy. Before I went to the gym, I thought we were getting me girls. Now I've realized girls don't care about muscles. I'm sure most girls like lanky torches. <laughs> yeah, the A is in luck. It's fine. They don't muscle. A it's fine. That's tall, guys. Yeah, the, 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 the key thing is money and charisma. Once you learn that, you're good. Like in the order. In the order. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that, um, I'm joking. I'm a, I'm a marine, they care about your I'm personality. A, That's all they care about. That's exactly. actually correct. Just, just your I'm personality. I'm a marine recruit and I do kickboxing, so being lean is advantage. It's an advantage to a point. Um, if you're so lean, you haven't got energy levels, then it's not an advantage anymore. So be mm. aware of that. And also, okay, quick question. Yeah. Are you trying to get lean for kickboxing, Danish Hercules, or for personal gains? If it's a kickboxing, then I'll probably say speak to your coach. Um, if it's just to go to the beach, then... Um, it's to get during it says it's summer ripped body. Yeah. It says summer ripped, summer ripped body before, so it's all aesthetics. And it's hard to balance aesthetics to combat sports, to be honest, without the extra assistance. Yeah. And most people who do like combat sports at a very high level, they, they really like to you know, relax during the off seasons. So they don't put too much strain on their body. So um, don't do anything unnecessarily ridiculous. Um, and I think if you just incorporate like cardio and stay at the recomp, eat your maintenance, you especially. Cardio for, yeah. yeah. And you've also, you also look fairly lean in your pictures. And also, like like I said, fat displacement, you can't control that. Like, you know, if you yeah, get, absolutely. Yeah. Like some people get their face, I'm very lucky I don't so much fat on my face at all. If I do, it's kind of like my lower back at this point. I don't know if that's changed over time or not. And also it depends, yeah, you can't control that distribution. Most Marines are built like long distance runners. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have picked you looking like a Marine, to be honest, man. I'm getting lean because Marines, so I have to march a six to kill my back, so I could have fat as a disadvantage. Um, I mean, to an extent, but you just it's, it's, you're, the biggest advantage would be just being great condition. Just get mm-hmm. really good, really strong base of car- aerobic fitness. Mm-hmm. That will be much better than trying to be absolutely shredded to the bone. Honestly, conditioning is so much more important than being super lean. I know I've been I've been through this myself when I was younger. Like trying to be lean is the ultimate, but it's it's really not. Being reasonably lean and strong and in great condition mm-hmm. and jacked is so much better combination. Yeah. It's almost like wanted everything all, like when you have your kids. Yeah, same time. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah. So you always have to pick one. There's some people who, what I always suggest to people who want that is always to have the idea of wanting to look like you're strong. Um, so yeah. you can always, sure. you, yeah, if you focus on trying to look like you're strong um, and work on like your, you know, I'll probably say athleticism is like the best, especially for like a Marine. Like you see, like most of these Marines against like bodybuilders, it will be like Marine versus bodybuilder test on YouTube and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And you just look at how athletic the um, uh, Marines look, 
and yeah. it's just absolutely amazing. Like you're you're more amazed by someone's athleticism than them just looking big. Like someone like Eddie Hall, I think he's a genetic freak in a sense, and also yeah. like um, uh, sure. I always call him Thor because I can't pronounce his name. I Have think Dolby answer. Yeah, yeah. I think if they could go into like any sport, so for example, if Eddie Hall was like an American football rather than um, Jesus Christ! Strong man. Put him on the line. Yeah, but he, line. he looks Jesus like he's Christ. got that energy, that unnecessarily like, you know, you know, stored energy. So I'll probably say go for that. Right? Um, but don't get too lean. Cool. Yola has a question. Um, I used to be really fat, around seventy six kg. Then lowered to. Uh, I didn't know anything about training, nutrition at that point. As a teenager, not healthy. Oh, is this a question or a suggestion? Okay. But yeah, it's more of a I, comment than a question. Yeah. yeah. 55 yeah. kg. Yeah, yeah you, you got of... it right. Way too low. It depends on the height, but at my, at my absolute lightest, I was, I was, I'm 5'8, still am. Um, I got, I was 60 kilos when I was at my absolute leanest, oh, wow. and now I'm about 75, 76, and I'm a hell of a lot stronger. So, yeah, that's good. Uh, how tall are you, Danish Hokies? I won't try to pronounce your first name. <laughs> and don't worry about bulking and stuff. If you're in the if you're in the Marines, silent. you can't be worried about too much bodybuilding. And if you build a good foundation now, that will carry you forward anyway. You can't be in the Marines and be worrying about you know, the old David Goggins thing. You can't be worried about your physique too much if you're in the Marines. You've got to be fit for purpose more than anything. Yeah, yeah. You hey, look yeah. At hey, yeah, is that correct? Hey, yeah, is that correct? Awesome. I'll try to remember that, but I probably won't. <laughs> Locked in. Hey guys, should I prioritize cardio and staying under maintenance or hitting my protein goal for a body recomp? Okay, interesting. So, generally, we look at this way. So, the main the priorities at the top is calories, then we look at protein, then anything else for nutrition. Um, so, that would be under maintenance. So, yeah, the calories are the most important thing. Then, and then once you've done that, the priority. priority the priority is protein, and then cardio after that. That way, I prioritize it. Eighty-eight kgs. Um, yeah, so you're a pretty big guy already. Um, yeah, one hundred five. <laughs> to pull the jump guard. <laughs> so he beat, is he beat you, Ao? Does it does Tony Lake beat you? Wait, what? Have you been trumped for the height card here by Tony Lake? No, no, he's tall. I mean, the only person... He says 6'5". Yeah, but how is that? It's the same height. It's like, what am I supposed to do? Get upset? <laughs> That's a good thing. <laughs> I want my brother to sorry, win. I'm sorry, I don't remember your exact height. I was trying to stir the pot for no reason. <laughs> hey, I don't remember your exact height. I was just trying to figure out if you were taller than him or not. And you're not taller Oh, than yeah, him, yeah, so same, same, same height. Same height. Um, Rollin is like 6'8". There's another guy who's like basically a giant. But I don't know. I think he's all loud in the face. Okay, he got banned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, sure some did. people get banned. It's so weird, and it's always like there's some people that whenever I interact oh. with them are like the chillest people ever. Um, and then I log on, and it's like, oh, this guy got banned, and then they're like appealing it, and I'm like, oh, what did they do? And I check the logs, it's like, wow, this guy is wild. Not even wild in like the comedic way. Like sometimes I'm, I'm more like reluctant to like want to keep wanting to keep like a a good person who makes silly jokes here and there. But there's some yeah, people yeah. who are just crazy. You never really know anyone yeah. until like there's no one around. Like it's always when you think staff's not around. It's like, you see the wildest thing. Like when the, when, out of pocket. When the cat's away and all that, yeah. Yeah. Crazy. Tiny Vikings, 28. Nice. Are you still, I'm still the oldest one in here so far. I'm sure there are old people in. I know a couple are older. Yeah, how old, hey, are, how old you are you? Again? I'm 26. How old I am um, 26. Oh, God. How old, how old am I? Gone. Oh, yeah, you're 30. Yeah, I, I know am. that by default. I wanted you to say it, and you I was going to do it. No, let's do that again. Chris, how old are you? I'm 30. Damn! There we go. That's, <laughs> good That's, good. That's what I wanted to hear. I'm going to clip that. Left, I swear up. to God. You yeah, actually have to clip that. <laughs> <laughs> right, sorry about that, dude. Nah. Oh, um, does, anybody else, does anybody have any questions? I've got the skincare if you want. You know. Well, 
down. Oh, actually, that's good. I'm trying to put together, and I know Millie's probably going to be mad about this. We're going to be putting together the skin care and, you know, stuff in the health section. Oh, yeah. And maybe bot yeah, commands yeah. for it. So if you ever want to help out mm-hmm. with that, if it's something you're... Yeah, really that's my message. Um, yeah, my message, sure. Solid, solid, solid. Cool, 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 cool. Come on, guys. Does anybody have any questions to ask on the panel? The good thing about the questions they ask on the panel, it can be turned into a bod, a clip, um, and it's something that you can always listen back to and, you know, share to educate people. Yeah, numbers is good, actually. Yeah, I'll get my numbers involved. She's age-defying entirely. Benjamin Butling in here. If not, I'll go and pretend to watch the England game. You watching it? Yeah. Nope. The Euros, I didn't care. Well, I, maybe if we get to like the... The thing is, I, I don't really have hope for it, but if I'm we do... Well, it's just very really sociable. Yeah, so yeah, really yeah, and a bunch of people watching it. But yeah, the, the problem with it is uh, I always get invested and then I get disappointed. There's no point in getting disappointed. There's no point getting hopes up. There's no point. Yeah. It just saves out the pie. It just, yeah, you, it's like, I think it's a human nature thing. I think someone gave like an example for it. Like you could draw a character get used to it for a long period of time and then if you rip it into pieces you feel like you've killed something because you got really attached yeah. to it like if i start following today and i start following it and reading the news and i'm getting fan uh-huh. words and people are talking about it the moment they lose it's going to feel like i've lost something even though nothing's gone wrong in my life it was never that's, it was never there in the first place yeah, no. <laughs> yeah that's why that. whenever people are like i don't get how all these people get so frustrated over the, the game it's like oh they're just kicking the ball around i know why like I can get obsessed with almost anything, so um, mm-hmm. I empathize with them. I don't want that. I don't need that in my life. I've already got too many responsibilities as we speak. I'm not stressed already. It's fine. Yeah, but yeah, I'll catch the highlights. One thing I will do, I'll keep up with the highlights, um, and then I'll be a glory supporter if we do really well. If we win, yeah, come on, always, in, always have to yeah. It's coming home, right? Stop that meme <laughs> again. <God. laughs> what was it? Last Euros, everyone just spamming everywhere. It's God. coming home. It's coming yeah. home. We were no, we so didn't. close and we lost in the penalties. I think that's why I don't want to follow this year because the penalties really kind of like broke me because it was so close, Hello. but it is what it is. Cool. We've got a few questions. I don't know if people are talking to each other. Um, come on, guys. It's coming towards the end of the podcast. That's pretty much an hour. For those of you who've listened yeah, all the way through, um, yeah, it's pretty much flown by. 52.30. Yeah. Like yeah. Pardon? Had some good, had a good time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so for those of you who stayed all the way to the end, really do appreciate it. Thank you very much. Um, the VOD is going to be on the YouTube, and I'll also make sure to load you in the Discord and also on Twitch. Thank you very much, Chris, for your time. Um, normally we do have this on Wednesdays. No, not Wednesdays. Sorry, that's something. Don't do Wednesdays. That's not true. That's Saturdays. <laughs> Normally, I have this on Saturdays um, around the same time, so 7 p.m. GM, GMT or BST now. Um, whenever I alert you, um, and yeah, whenever you get notifications, <laughs> whenever you get the notifications, right? Um, <laughs> then it will be more consistent. Thank you very much. Really do appreciate it. Make sure to support Chris. Remember, it's not Strike Force. It's not Strike. Felt. Wait, wait, sorry, I butchered that. It's not strike We're first. So, um, it's I'm not here on a Sunday. Give my time up. It's not this. strike first. It's not strike force. It is strength first. Um, yeah, make sure to sub- support Chris on all platforms. Strength first. Um, really do appreciate you guys. And also make sure to catch the VOD, guys. I only need nine followers to get it to 250 um, followers. It'll be cool Don't if the Twitch the can link. exceed the Reddit. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Spam this, send it to your friends, send it to your enemies, send it to your lovers. Um, and and yeah, I hope you all have a great Oh, someone's joined. Vincent, do you have any questions? And he's left. Hope you have a great day. See you. Take care. Bye-bye. Peace. Thank you, guys. Thank you.